here in Poland at the Noa Diba military training area and just over 320 miles away at the Moa Piski training area. US Army armoured regiments have been very busy at late supporting Poland's ambitious rearming plans to modernise its land forces, in particular its main battle tanks. The United States, for instance, has agreed to supply 116 second-hand Abrams M1A1 firepower enhancement package main battle tanks. So far, 69 of the M1A1 FEP tanks are delivered. The Polish government have also ordered 250 of America's most advanced and heaviest tank ever, the M1A2 SEP V3. Incidentally, Poland has also ordered 180 of one of the most modern tanks in the world, the South Korean K2 Black Panther main battle tank. It's 20 tons lighter than an Abrams SEP V3. Combined with a high-tech design, is renowned for its agility to cross tough terrain and fording rivers. It doesn't end there. Poland currently operates a mix of Leopard 2 variants, the 2A4, 2A5 and TPL. Discussions are rumoured to be taking place to secure an unknown quantity of Germany's very latest Leopard 2, the 2A7V, arguably the best tank ever produced. Here, US Army soldiers assigned to 1st Battalion, 35th Armoured Regiment, 2nd Armoured Brigade Combat Team, 1st Armoured Division, supporting 3rd Infantry Division, are conducting a Joint Combined Armed Live Fire Exercise, or CALFEX, for short. It's held in conjunction with the Polish 1st Battalion, 1st Army Brigade, 18th Mechanized Division. This exercise completes six months of intense training given to the Polish soldiers from US Army soldiers assigned from the 35th Armoured Regiment. The Polish soldiers who brought along their Abrams M1A1 firepower enhancement package main battle tanks actually trained the majority of the time from 35th Armoured Regiment M1A2 V2 Abrams tanks. During today's Calfex, the Polish soldiers became the first Polish tank crew to qualify on an M1A2 Abrams tank. This first Table 5 qualification for the Polish tank crews, which assessed their warfighting capability, intermaneuverability with combined arms, prepares the Polish tankers for the first deliveries of the mighty M1A2 ZEP V3 main battle tank sometime in early 2025.
some 320 miles away at Momoa Piski Training Area, Poland. US Army soldiers from the 69th Armored Regiment are also keeping on top of their training. These United States Army tankers deployed as Task Force Marne under V Corps, America's four deployed corps in Europe, are an integral part of 3rd Infantry Division's lead of NATO's enhanced forward presence battle group Poland. Here they are about to conduct a live fire exercise. Tank crews are operating the M1A2 SEP V3 main battle tanks. They will be implementing and coordinating battlefield tank manoeuvres and firing at targets while either on the move or stationary. It's very likely Poland by 2026 will have a very powerful main battle tank force, even after donating most of its large stocks of Soviet-made heavy weaponry, including old T-72M1 main battle tanks, and its unique upgraded T-72M1 variant known as the PT-91 Twardy, and of course older Leopard 2 tanks donated to Ukraine. This will nonetheless see Poland emerge as having one of Europe's most powerful and modern land forces. Thanks for watching.